Hello, good evening, good evening. We're gonna just try that one more time because I've heard all the noise you were making earlier, so I'm just gonna do that one more time. Lights up, here we go, we're trying that again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love having a microphone. It's such a good time. Anyways, welcome, good evening, glad you're all here. Great, thank you so much. He just wanted me to know it was seven o'clock and I could start. Thanks, assistant. Um, I'm Miss Nazarella, better known as Miss Naz or just Naz. Thank you. You might not recognize me without my sneakers on, but you all look so lovely tonight, so I figured I would put on some real shoes for once. So thank you for dressing up and for being here. Parents, thank you so much for coming and celebrating our seniors tonight. Yay, seniors 2022. We'll chant later, it'll be great. Um, I just wanna thank a couple people. Um, of course, Principal Nelson Warren for always being so supportive and stepping into this grand role and doing such a great job. So we wanna thank her. And also, our favorite AP, Miss Vanessa Morrow, who is here tonight. Miss Morrow, <laughs> thank you. She's such a cheerleader for our students and for us as well, so thank you so much. Um, I wanna thank my department of teachers that is so very wonderful, so all of the magnet teachers here and VPA teachers at DP, thank you all for everything that you do for these kids. Um, this, tonight, this whole thing, literally took the whole department to put together and we really work so very well together and it, it's just a well-oiled machine and everybody just takes care of business and so I feel truly blessed to have such a great team so I just wanna make sure that I thank you all in front of everybody so thank you all so much. <laughs> and of course we have um, our tech team in the back, we've got our um, stream team they are streaming this tonight live for us. Shout out to my mom. Hey mom, how you doing girl? Yes, okay. Um, I hope she's watching. She is, she'll text me and be like, don't do that. Um, lastly, but most certainly not least, I wanna thank the seniors for, go ahead, go ahead. So as we all know and have heard many, many a time, it has been such a, a, a tough year and a strange year um, and constantly evolving and constantly changing. And so kudos to you for sticking with it and, and getting through and graduating in a week. And it's a huge feat and it's so, there's so much doom and gloom and this pocket of VPA is always such a, a nice light for me. I like to walk into the classrooms and see dancers you know, jumping around doing things I could never do in my whole life. And just, just the, the passion um, and the creativity that goes on is just a beacon of light in such doom and gloom. So seniors, you're making it, bravo to you. Tonight is to celebrate you, okay? So we're gonna get started. <laughs> so as you're aware, we're gonna start with band because they're already on stage. Yay band, go team. In front of you is the DP Wind Symphony under the direction of Mr. Patrick, and they will perform Inglesina, the little English girl, by David Delasasi, and I probably said that wrong, which I say many names wrong, I apologize now. This piece was part of their district and state performances where they received straight superiors along with the DP Symphonic Band. Yes. It's, it's been a good year for us in the band world. The Otto Kroschauer Award was awarded to both bands for receiving straight superiors at all district and all state events this year, so congrats to them. And we're gonna kick it off here with the DP Wind Symphony playing Inglesina.
All right, all right, good way to start. Um, if you didn't get a chance yet to scan the QR codes on the sides of the wall there, there's a beautiful uh, program there for you uh, with the help of Mr. Waters, our wonderful course teacher. He helped me out with that, so I wanna thank him for doing that. Um, if you go ahead and open that up to where the art page is, there's a little something in there I wanna talk about. Um, we are excited to feature the class of 2022 VPA Art Seniors work at this evening's recital. So just this evening, Ms. Calloway attended the school board meeting um, along with the Hernandez family to honor one of our freshman VPA um, art students who received recognition for earning second place in the national art competition. Lucia, are you here? Yes? I see you waving. Yes, she is here. Congratulations to you, my dear. She is ninth grade and has won second place with her amazing design in the 2022 Magnet Schools of America poster contest. And that is a small picture in your program underneath where it says art. That is the actual piece of artwork there that she won for. So we wanted to make sure we congratulate her for her national level art award. So congratulations to you. Seniors, we are so proud of all of your visual art students and their incredible accomplishments through the practice of visual storytelling using various art disciplines and art making processes. Our visual art students showcase diversity every day in their work. They use various art mediums and practice different artistic disciplines and visual forms of expression of working with, nope, I missed the line, throughout their journey in the VPA program. Our visual art faculty has enjoyed the pleasure of working with our fabulous art seniors for the past four years. Special shout out and thank you to Hannah Na and Caitlin Wexler for an amazing job putting together this incredible presentation for our art seniors. So without further ado, here is art.
Yo, what is up gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am gonna play the greatest game ever made, which is of course, Neko Etsumi Kitty Collector. So as you can see, I have all the food laid out and the kitties are playing with their toys. Everyone is happy. So I'll start by introducing you to my 106 cats that visit me. So this one is loud. This one. What? 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 You can't pirate a game that's free on the app store. Wait, what's happening? Who's there?
first question. So, how do you let your <laughs> shut up, bro? <laughs> How do you use your art to inspire the world and others? It's just being upfront and not really holding anything back in my artwork. Like, I feel like my artwork is my safe place to really speak my mind, whether it's my political views, views on society, views on the world, and things that I feel like need to be addressed. So what's your favorite form of creative expression? Um, definitely spoken word. It's a different type of energy when you put your voice behind something, plus the performance that comes with spoken word in a way that you can really like take somebody's mind on like a journey or change the, the structures or somebody's soul from them experiencing like one of your own, your spoken word pieces. I feel like it's more powerful of an impact and effect on them. What would you like other artists to know? Oh, um, I don't care. Like I don't like, I don't mean to be like arrogant or like any of that, but like when it comes to art, like I really don't care. Like I just, I'm myself. Cause I started drawing in order to express myself when I was little. I didn't always know how to speak to people or speak like in general. Art was my form of expression. My expression was always like very, very me. Like it was never really refined. It was never really censored, never really had a filter. And if I feel something, it's going to show in my pieces. And I hope that other artists are able to like feel like that as well. Like, don't care. We're born into a world that we know nothing about amongst people who we don't know at all. So you might as well just express yourself. So be free and be who you are in your pieces. You might just help somebody else with your freedom. You might inspire them to be free as well. My name is David Monster, and that's my life. Z it up so you freeze up, man. Deuces. All right, nice job, Art. Chorus is up next. From solo performances to involvement in honor choirs, the chorus program at DP has had an active year. After a two-year hiatus, the Dr. Phillips High School Chorus Program participated in their music performance assessment. The Select Trouble Ensemble, who will be performing tonight, and the Mixed Ensemble both received superior ratings, and all four choirs received superior ratings in sight reading. We are very proud of all the students that have so beautifully represented the DPHS Chorus Program as soloists and as ensemble members. So congrats, Chorus, that's awesome. I'm going to add that we are so very lucky here uh, to have two phenomenal pianists on staff here at Dr. Phillips High School, and you're gonna hear from both of them tonight. So the select treble choir will be singing I'm Going Up Yonder, by Walter Hawkins, arranged by Martin Servatka, and they will be accompanied by our very own Mrs. Jane Moore. Chorus.
Beautiful. All right, dance is up next. My solo will be second. I'm going to let them go first. I don't want to outshine anyone. You know, it's not, it's not very nice. Um, the dance seniors are now going to share two solos choreographed by each of the seniors. Both ladies have been members of the Dance in Motion student company for all four years and have traveled and performed in Pittsburgh and Vancouver for high school dance festivals as well as across the state of Florida for various events. They have been an integral part of the company, receiving straight superior ratings for OCPS and state assessments for four straight years. And both have been named OCPS All-County Dancers. They both plan to pursue dance majors in college, Christina to Point Park with a jazz emphasis and Bella to Boston Conservatory with an emphasis in commercial dance. So please welcome Christina Cotterillo dancing Before I Go, followed by Bella Cruz with Forget Me Not.
I need more practice. One day it's going to happen. I'm going to bust down a song. You guys are going to be like, <laughs> it's going to be great and terrible at the same time. Okay, TV film is up next. The TV film magnet has had a busy year back from the pandemic. During the pandemic hiatus, our students created a stream team. They're here tonight. That is a live event strategy to send all of our VPA performances to the homes of our absent audiences. Well, this was very successful, and when we returned, we continued to provide the service to Dr. Phillips High School as well as Orange County Public Schools. I'm telling you, I don't know how we would have gotten through the pandemic without that team of people. We, they did everything, every concert, every performance. Thank you, guys. Over the course of this year, we've created over 34 live stream events, including five for the Orange County Public School System. That's in addition to competing in the 48-hour film, film festival over the fall, the only high school entrant again this year. And we produced our first live film festival in over three years. Add to that over 130 news broadcasts this year. It's safe to say that the TV film magnet program has been very busy this year. So to celebrate our seniors tonight, we'd like to share our film festival journey by showing you a senior created film to set up our theme for film festival this year called Shattered Reality. Oh, Elijah, you're here. Where is everyone? Dr. Phillips hasn't been the same. I can't do this alone. I'm going to need help. <laughs> yes, you will. What about everyone else? Where are they? Why don't you ask them yourself? Wait, what are you doing? No! No! Whoa. Oh my god. You did it. <laughs> There's no one left to make film fest. <laughs> <laughs> So, you got stuck with us too, huh? Thank God you guys are here. Where's everybody else? I'm assuming you guys got tricked by those two bozos as well. And I can taste blood in my mouth. What's that about? That would be the teleporter. Yeah, we've been dealing with the side effects for the past couple of days. We're stuck in a pocket dimension. And it's closing in on us. But hey, look at the bright side. In that transporter, we could have been DEH, had our DNA splice, or suffered from brain melting psychosis. Uh, how do you know so much about this? Star Trek. We have to find everybody else. Well, they're not dead. They're in their own pocket dimensions. But, good news is, Michael was able to reverse engineer the teleporter and get working again. Thing is though, I need a test subject. Alright, are you ready? Yeah, I'm good. Um, but tell me this, why are my clothes different than they were a minute ago? The timelines are overlapping. It's pretty risky. Are you sure that you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Yes. Yeah! Yeah! Wait, wait, where'd you send him? I don't know, man. I just hit some random buttons. Oh, no. This is a titanium bat. Found it in the gym. If you want a problem, we can have one. Otherwise, why are you here? I'm here to get you out of here. Mike and Aiden know how to get us out. How am I supposed to believe you? Well, you don't have much of a choice. The blood in your mouth, you, 
You can taste it too, right? The clothes that you're wearing change every single time you look at them. We're dying in alternate dimensions, and we have a chance to save everyone. I need you. He's right, you know. I don't know about you, but I want to graduate. Think of our GPAs. Whatever. So what are we gonna do? Come on, guys. Um, Mr. Jagir, I think you should see this. Teleporter. They must have activated it in another dimension. So, are they coming here? No. Uh, no, it's just a glitch. I think we should be fine. They are not coming back. Is anybody in here? We have Aiden and Micah on our side. That portal over there, that's what's going to get us out of here and save everyone. So let's go. Dude, what's your favorite Playboy Cardi album? Not even a question. Dial it. No way, dude. self title is way better. You're tripping, dude. Dial it is mixed. It has it's no seven, seven point What are you talking about? Track. Have you even listened doo -doo, to it? Doo-doo track list, bro. Well, aren't you guys happy to see us? Come on, let's go save the rest of the class. I'm good, bro. I think we're chilling. Yeah, I really do not care. I got a big stick here, so let's go. <sighs> Fine. So how's that work today? Uh, and this guy just comes up to me, and he's like, uh-huh. And I'm like, nah. -uh. And he's like, yeah, huh? And I'm like, huh? And then he comes up, and he's like, uh -huh. Mr. G, I, I think all of them are coming here. That's impossible. <coughs> Look, guys, like, I didn't really want this. I was kind of just following orders. And I was just trying to follow his orders. Whose orders? Tell us now. Dr. Knight, all right? Look. She didn't have enough money for the film fest, so she wanted me to get rid of you guys, you know, for good. So you're telling me she didn't have enough money for film fest, yet she can afford an interdimensional teleporter. I mean, I mean nobody's perfect, so... Look, guys, look, we're stuck here, too. I mean, you gotta help. I can take you to her. guys, are you telling me you wouldn't do the same thing? This film festival is not making any money. It is driving us into the ground financially and you guys just won't stop. Charge money for tickets then. Get sponsorships for one of the best film teams in the country. And you're right. We can't be stopped. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. All right. Let me call the IT department and make the announcement. All right, IT guys, we're done here. Bring us on back. Hey, <sighs> see, that wasn't so hard. See you at Film Fest 2022, Dr. Knight. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to leave Dr. Phillips. I'm going to have to leave high school and find another job. Maybe I'll go to middle school. I ordered Well, hey guys. What did I miss? Whoa, guys, take a chill pill. It's not like I shattered reality.
Was that good? I couldn't see from backstage, but you're laughing, so I assume it was a great job. I will tell you, this TV film department is also the reason why I will stay in a movie theater and watch the credits until it's over. Because those people work so hard and don't get any, uh, you know, thank you because they're not the actors on the screen. So, Which reminds me, we have a lot of theater kids running around doing things in the background, so I want to make sure we thank the theater department for that. <laughs> All right, orchestra is up next. We have a little two-part situation going on here, okay? Um, the orchestra department has been diligently and successfully rebuilding after returning from a hybrid learning during COVID, and we are pleased to announce the many positive results of our efforts this year, including four live in-person concerts, with many of those featuring our feeder middle school programs, sending students to represent our program and school at all county orchestra, sending students to represent our program and school at all, all state and all county orchestra, performing multiple student recitals at Harbor Chase Assisted Living Facility, sending students to represent our program and school at the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra Yo-Yo Ma concert. That was cool. I got pictures. Um, sending students to represent our school uh, program at District and Solo and Ensemble, and all four orchestras participated in district music performance assessment. Sending students to represent our program and school at State Solo and Ensemble, and our top ensemble premiere participated in State Music Performance Assessment, and participating in the annual Southwest Middle School Fine Arts Festival. So first you will hear Piano Quartet in E-flat Major, Opus 47 by Robert Schumann, Movement 3, Andante Cantabile. Performing is Samuel Ovalli on violin, Christian Ovalli on cello, and the Miss Rainey Allen on viola and our other phenomenal piano teacher, Mr. Jeff Brown on piano. Following that will be the VPA Orchestra seniors and members of the Premier Orchestra, and they will perform Red Rhythmico by Kurt Mosier. Here is orchestra.
they're going to clear the stage because we've got dance coming back out for round number two. So we're going to welcome them back to the stage with a solo and a duet. Dance is proud of this small but mighty group of three. Together they've received over $758,000 in scholarship offers. Yes, mama needs a new pair of shoes. And all three are National Honor Society of Dance Art members who will be graduating with honors. So once we clear, yes. Now I tell jokes because the stage isn't clear yet. Every time I turn around, it's been done. Um, I don't have any more jokes. I used them all yesterday. Hold on. Uh, the beatbox has to be a secret, children, between you and I. Shush. Don't, don't tell the world. Don't tell the world. Um, we are going to finish with theater when they're done, and then we have a little senior ceremony, so we're almost to the end. Um, so uh, coming up, we have Jordan Jackson, who plans to major. Go ahead. You can clap for her. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Jordan, you have fans. She's back there smiling. Um, she plans to major in journalism with her senior choreographed solo, The Unspoken. And then following that, we're going to have a senior choreographed duo called Don't Tell Me with Christina and Bella. So Jordan is up. Eurocentric standard, and their hair is typically longer and straighter. When I first started pageants, I was told by many to never let my hair be natural for competition. HR told me my hair looked more professional, pulled back and in the bun than it did out curly. Our hair defies gravity, and it loves to stand up and do its thing from one day to the next. Why does my hair have to always be the conversation? I've seen children humiliated at school, getting suspended. The baby girl whose teacher cut her hair because her beads were making too much noise. People were like, why are you wearing your hair like that? And I was like bullied by the kids for that reason. I am not my hair, but my hair is a part of who I am. Because the beauty of it, it's so versatile and you might want to look like this one day and the next day you want to look like something totally different. But you have to think of what you look like as far as a preference for your workplace. I think that's like one of the worst feelings. I've ever had to deal with. I started my locks journey out of convenience. Now, it's an outright protest. I want you to be comfortable wearing what you want to wear, not doing it because, oh, I have to get approval of everybody else. My hair is a true expression of my personality now. Even though it can take a full day to wash in style, I love everything about my hair. I wear my hair boldly and proudly as it is the crown that makes me my curls are beautiful, and so are yours.
All right, all right. Theater is up. Let me let me uh, let me borrow this for just just a minute. <coughs> it's it's okay. We, we we can take care of all this. Uh, we we need to spend just a moment and and talk about uh, Ms. Nas. Because being the chairman of the board of the VPA, the captain of the ship, person in charge, when somebody comes to us and says, I want to speak to your manager, we, we trot Nas out there and, and she takes the heat. And, and, and being the captain of the ship means more than just getting the nice office and the, the parking spot that's close. It means that for that one day, she gets to be special. The other 179 school days are just terror. And uh, she, she does truly uh, do so much to make sure that everything runs smoothly in the department, uh, tries as, as hard as she can to keep everybody in the program, keep our parents happy, keep our kids happy. We've got incoming students every year, and it's a thankless job. And she does such a good job. So please, a round of applause for Ms. Nas, please. There you go. That's so sweet. You know, I pride myself in the fact that I, the kids can't keep secrets from me. How did you know that? I know everything. I did not know they were going to do that. So that was very sweet. I love my team. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay, Mom, did you see that? I'm so cute. Okay. Um, <laughs> she's still watching. She's still awake. Oh, 8, 10? We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. All right. Big finale. Here we go. Theater is proud to present. <laughs> proud to present a medley of songs and monologues created and performed by Ensemble 22. This graduating class will continue to schools including Savannah College of Art and Design, Penn State, University of Central Florida, Marymount Manhattan, Fashion Institute of Technology, and University of North Carolina School of the Arts. Theater.
the, oh, hey, see it works. Um, who's crying? Great, well we've done our job tonight then, that's wonderful. Okay, um, we're gonna have a little senior acknowledgement moment here, okay? So I'm gonna call the strands up one at a time. Um, and we're going to obviously start with theater because they're literally right here. So we're going to crown you with your VPA medals that you must take with you to graduation and wear with pride. All right, so theater is up first. Somebody hit play back there. Next up is TV. There's my fam. He's on their way. This is gonna be the best day of my life. My life. This is gonna be the best day of my life. My life. All right, Dan, come on in. Guys, clap the door to a two. Don't mind us, we're just gonna have a little photo up. Miss Duckoff, the best intern in the world, is gonna take a picture. Yay! Everybody say cheese. Ready? One. Two. And three. You're doing great, Miss Dykoff. You're doing great. Wait. 
Wait for it, wait for it. Gotta take the selfie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 selfie. Congratulations. Thank you all. Drive safe. Thank you so much.